In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Smoke Ninja and how you can use it in your portrait photography. Uh -oh. And we set the fire alarms off. <laughs> Smoke Ninja, you produce a lot of smoke. So before I show you what we were doing that made the fire alarms go off, that was embarrassing. Let's have a look at what is in this case. So we have the Smoke Ninja unit itself, the liquid which you put into the Smoke Ninja, which according to the bottle will give you around 200 minutes of spray time, the chamber which you attach to the top of the Smoke Ninja and you pour the liquid into, a wireless remote so that you can turn the Smoke Ninja on remotely, various nozzles to attach to the Smoke Ninja for the smoke to come out of, adapters so that you can attach the Smoke Ninja to a light stand or to a magnetic surface like this, and a USB-C cable so that you can charge the Smoke Ninja. I also just want to say at this point that this video is not sponsored by Smoke Ninja. I bought this unit myself a few weeks ago. So why would we want to use the Smoke Ninja? Well, for me, especially when it comes to portrait photography, smoke just looks really cool. And in this video, you're going to see me using the Smoke Ninja to create these images. I love adding smoke to my images. In the past, I've done so using a smoke machine and they work great, but they always need to be plugged into the main so they're not very portable. I've also used smoke pellets, which again work really well, but you need to be very careful with them as they get so hot. Plus, they only burn for a very short amount of time, so you have to work really quickly when using them. I've also tried using atmosphere aerosol as well, but I must admit I've always struggled to get good results with this because I just find that the mist that it produces is just so subtle. So the Smoke Ninja for me is definitely the best all-round solution for adding smoke to your portrait photographs. It's small and it's portable but it kicks out a lot of smokes as you'll find out in this video. Plus you can control the direction and the spread of the smoke really well because it's just so easy to handle. As a unit this has three basic functions fog, dry ice and steam. To turn on the unit we just just tap this button three times and then we choose which of the effects we want. So if I'm going to choose fog, just click on fog. There's two separate settings. If I press it again, it's going to go to the stronger setting. And then I press this red button here. And you'll see for a very small unit, it really packs out a lot of smoke. It's really cool. So this is the fog setting. I can definitely see me using this quite a lot on portrait shoots, and I do in the video you're about to see. Now let's press Steam. Steam is the one that I haven't really used, and it's not really the most exciting one. I'll show you. It's similar to Fog, but it's just a bit more like mist. So this is a bit more like atmosphere aerosol. The effect is nowhere near as strong. But if you can actually see, by the way, but the way that this smoke hangs in the air is really cool. So what I'm now going to do is show you my favourite function, which is dry ice. So I'm going to just change the nozzle attachment, put this one on. It produces really thick smoke that just hangs. So what I'm now going to do is pass you over to me at Standing Hall, where you can see me using the Smoke Ninja for the first time on a portrait shoot. So this is the first time that I've used the Smoke Ninja. I'm really excited to use it because I love creating smoke. In the past, I've only ever done so using little smoke pellets. I'm the fire starter. So this is great because it's much more portable and that's what I really like about this. So I'm going to start off very simple, just using natural light. I'm on the Nikon Z8 with the Nikon 85mm f1.2 lens. I'm going to shoot that wide open and I'm back with the amazing Rebecca. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for, for helping. And I wanted to shoot in natural light. So I've placed Rebecca here, as you can see, against a dark background. She's lit with the nice window light here. So the composition will be very, very straightforward. Just Rebecca with natural light on her with a dark background. And what I'm hoping is, when I ask Helen to go down here and just turn on the Smoke Ninja using the dry ice function, as the dry ice rises, it will be lit by the window light and it will pop because the background will be dark. That's the theory anyway. So I'm just gonna see what this looks like. This is gonna be a very, very simple composition, just head and shoulders, nothing too flashy, just to see what it looks like. To say, this is the first time that I've used this. So if you don't mind, Helen, I will take this camera off you. Thank you. 
So settings wise, I'm going to be wide open on the 85 mil, so that's f1.2. ISO 800 and 250th with my shutter speed, all natural light. Okay, so Helen, if you don't mind, please letting this go. Whoa, cool. That's good, Helen. Cool. Right, so I took a lot of photographs then because as the smoke's moving around, it's constantly changing. So I'm not sure which of the best shot's going to be. What we're now going to do is find another location within this venue, which is gonna allow us to shoot a little bit wider. And we'll try the other function. That was dry eye, so we're going, I can't remember what the other one is called, fog? Fog or sleep. We'll try the fog, see what that looks like. Okay, so we've come down to the groom room in Standard, which is a really cool space designed for grooms getting ready on their wedding day. It's got loads of cool man toys in here, I really like it. But I've come down here because I'm trying to find a very dark corner and I want to try and make it as dark as possible, then light up the smoke that we're going to make with the Smoke Ninja using speed light. So I've got two V860s, this one over here, this is B, this has a full CTO gel on it, and this one over here, which is A, this has a purple gel on it. Now the one issue with this setup, I think, could be that Rebecca may need a light source on her because I'm gonna ask her to stand here, so the light, from the speed lights will light up the smoke, but Rebecca won't have a light source on her. So we might have to figure that out somehow. I might have to use a third speed light to light up Rebecca. That gives me this, which in theory I think looks about right. As you can see, my settings there, 3 20th of a second, f2.8, ISO 800, and I'm now on the 14 24 mil. I've had to use this lens because we don't have much space to play with and I need to be physically quite close, Rebecca, for this to work. So I've gone with a very wide lens. So we'll see what happens when we use this setup with Rebecca sat here. And again, Helen will be probably behind Rebecca this time with the Smoke Ninja. But rather than using the dry eye setting, we're going to use the fog setting. So it should be a bit thinner and hopefully give the appearance of really cool smoke. Let's find out. Okay, cool. So here's what we've just got. As you can see, the big problem is that we don't have a light source on Rebecca. So what I want to now do is add in speed light C with a mag grid and a mag sphere on, and that is going to light Rebecca. That should give us something really cool. So here's one I prepared earlier. So it's what Helen's doing behind. Perfect. Oh, these are amazing. As I said in my review video for the Z8, the shutter is so, so quiet. It doesn't have a mechanical shutter, it's just electronic. So the sound is virtually silent and I love that. Wrapping the right veil around you again, as you did before, if that's okay. Yeah, Rebecca does this really well. Beautiful. And just looking at me as you're doing that. Stunning. Yeah, amazing. While you're in position, I always say this, you might as well just change your lens very quickly. So I'm gonna go from the 1424, whilst we've got all the setup correct, and change to the 50 mil. Actually, no, let's really go for it. Let's go to the 85 mil 1.2. Let's shoot it at 1.2, which means I need to lower my ISO. You won't be able to tell from the video, maybe you can, but this room now is really, really foggy. That's good. Gonna turn C down a little bit. Shoot a couple in portrait.
Perfect. Thank you very, very much. So here are my favorite photographs from this shoot. Huge thank you to Rebecca, as always, for modeling, to Helen for being an amazing smoke fire starter. Yes, I, I, I like this a lot more than the plumber's smoke. Oh, there you go. There's a review for you. you I'm not choking. <laughs> you're not choking, you say? Yeah, or you're not joking? No, you're not joking. Oh. Uh -oh. And we set the fire alarms off. <laughs> Oh no! Smoke Ninja, you produce a lot of smoke. Sorry to stand in. <laughs> I may have just set off the smoke alarms at Standen Hall. <laughs> We're in so much trouble. It's this. Great advert for the Smoke Ninja. It works. <laughs> oh dear. We're really sorry. Sorry, sorry. It was a brilliant ending to the video though. <laughs>